everyone and welcome back to another pack with me. This is so exciting because we are packing for my very first international trip in almost two years. So I've been packing and doing staycations and all sorts of stuff over the last two years but now we're actually getting on a plane guys. So packing is at a whole new level because I am digging out the packing cubes. If you know, you know, these are the best things to pack with. And I've got a selection of clothes I've been dumping. I've got my hand luggage I'm gonna go through. Today is Wednesday, I fly on Monday. I'm heading out to Parma in Mallorca for a week. It's part work, part fun. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing. I'm also going to a conference. It's uh, a company called Traverse. I booked tickets with, and I'm staying in my own little Airbnb. It is November, end of November, so it is chilly. Uh, I have been checking the weather. It's been raining a lot, so we may have to account for that. But I'm just excited, guys. I'm excited to get on a plane and do it again. So over the next few days, I'm gonna be showing you my packing. We're gonna do a bit at a time because it's a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot to think about. I've got a packing list and there's a lot of like prep that people don't talk about, like travel prep, organization, not just writing your list, but like washing the makeup brushes, getting my nails done. There's like loads of little bits and bobs that I like to do before I actually go away. So we're gonna do all of that as well over the next few days. So. Anywho, here is my spare bed. This is how I like to pack. I like to dump things I might need. A few things I do before I start my actual packing is I get myself a little travel wallet. I bought this one on Amazon, so I'll leave a link to it below for you. But as you can see, I've used my label maker to label up different tabs with all my information and my passport is in there. This is in a nice clear wallet to keep it nice because it's actually a brand new passport. And then I also have my European health insurance travel card. You can apply for new versions of these now because they've updated since we left the EU. So I will, again, like I've said, leave links for everything you might need below. So I know that most of my documents I can access via my phone, like my boarding pass and all my tickets and everything is basically all digital, but just for peace of mind and reassurance, um, I like to have everything pre Printed as well uh, so that's why I have a little travel wallet and then I also have a smaller purse that's smaller than my big day-to-day -day one and I've got some euros in here and I'll also obviously put my credit card debit card uh, driving license that kind of thing in there so they're the first things then I will always check my luggage allowance because I'm flying with EasyJet and, ha and how much hand luggage I can have and I've also double checked my travel insurance I've put an out of office on at work I've also told my banks that I'll be traveling so please don't block my cards but other things I still need to do include snacks I need to buy some for the flight or do have some wine gums I was going to nibble on but I realize it's going to be like 7 a.m so we'll see what I want to have then i need to wash my makeup brushes charge my gadgets clear memory cards download entertainment that i want to watch on the flight although it's a really short flight so we'll see and also i've bought a an apple air tag that i'm gonna add to my suitcase i thought i would try it and see so it's arriving today so we'll do that later and then for my travel packing list, I use um, a company called Notion, which hopefully you can see this here. I have used um, the notes section in my phone before as well. And I just write out everything I might need in the different categories. So we've got my hand luggage, technology, because I have a lot of tech, clothing, shoes, documents, toiletries, and miscellaneous. So I just go through the different categories and do it bit by bit so I don't overwhelm myself. But I think we'll start with the beauty stuff because I've pretty much got everything out and there isn't too much that I need to add. And I have an amazing new wash bag from a company called 195. This actually has the ability to take out this little clear thing. So you can use that as your travel um, toiletries bag to go to the airport. However, it does mean that I then lose a whole pocket in the actual um, wash bag itself. So I think I'm gonna leave it in there and we're gonna fill it all up. So first up, we've got my first aid kit, which as you can see has a huge variety of stuff in there. I have gone through it. I've replaced any medication that was expired or I didn't need in there. You will not believe the amount of times I like go for this on a trip. There's like a variety of stuff that I end up needing or wanting or using. Obviously they'll have pharmacies if there is anything I need, but I always pack it and travel with it. Then I have laid out some of my beauty things. Oh, I've got some um, 
vitamins that I take every day as well. So I'll keep them in my wash bag actually because I'll take them in the morning when I brush my teeth. So I've got a nail file, toothbrush and toothpaste, a little mini razor, a little facial razor, space masks. These are amazing. They're self-heating little masks. They're great if you can't sleep. I've also just thrown in some eye masks. I might pack a couple more of those just in the evenings when I'm getting ready or in the morning. Little um, pouch with toothpicks and earbuds my deodorant. I've got a mixture of um, reusable face halo cloths to remove makeup and a cloth but I also have some cotton wool pads as well. Then we have my shampoo and conditioner, body mist, a shower gel, lip balm, contact lenses, body cream, face sun cream, cleanse and polish, um, cleanser, this is my favourite ever, simple micellar water. I actually don't love this one so much. I do have this one by Garnier but as you can see it's a lot bigger and that one is so much smaller and I think that's all I would need I mean I could actually pour all that away and pour that in here but that would be a waste wouldn't it so I'm going to take that one face moisturizer an eye cream and I also have a serum I want to add in but I'm still using it the only other things I haven't added yet are my makeup my perfume and I'm actually doing an ad for fragrance direct so I'm going to take out a specific bottle my air wrap hair dryer my hair accessories and I always take a little portable mirror so as you can see I still have a few things to pack but I mostly have everything else I wanted so I think we are there so we're going to put it all in my wash bag now right we're going to put the most of the stuff in this big pouch down here because it looks quite small but actually it does fit quite a lot in also have a couple of ziploc bags which are so handy for so many things when it comes to packing anything you want to sort of try and shimmy things around that's the best way to do it it's a bit like tetris you know there we go. That is my whole wash bag with everything I can need or want. The only thing I don't have in here is hair care stuff, which I'm going to put in my air wrap bag. Well, I have shampoo and conditioner, but there's a couple of hair bits. This is so random, but I always pack a shower cap because they're perfect for putting around dirty shoes. So when you repack on the way home, like I'll clean off my shoes before I put them in now. But I took this from a hotel room the other day that I stayed in. So next, I'm looking at my pile of clothes I've dumped in here. And the weather, guys. The weather. I mean, look at this. It says rain every day. I go on Monday. So look at that. This is the longest that Bonnie and I are going to be separated. Look at her little face. She knows I'm packing for something. But I have started to organise some shoes so we'll go over those in a minute and I've started to fold some of the clothes and put them into categories and piles and I folded up my um bag so this is actually a, a foldable rucksack which is great so it's quite a big rucksack it's good for like carrying a water bottle and all my tech and bits for the day and then this one's a little bit smaller and I'm taking both because this one's quite good for the evenings um so I think I want that but I also have dug out like a little side bag I think could be good for the evenings as well a couple of things in there are two um, I found my mirror. This it actually was from Benefit. Um, I think it was in like a gift set or it was a goodie bag or something like that. I've had it for years and it's perfect because it like magnetics like that. So I always take that when I travel. Then I've got one of these uh, European plugs and a couple of other things going on there. We'll talk, sort that out in a minute. And this is a tripod for work stuff. Um, so I've started pulling out some jumpers. I have two there. They're quite bulky though. I found some tea bags as well. So I'm going to take those with my miscellaneous stuff and then I've started doing I've got some clean washing there <laughs> pulled out a couple of dresses from the washing and then I've also pulled out a couple of outfits and options that I like so it's a little while later and my bed looks like that and the spare bed looks like this this is where we're at and I'm just about to dump <laughs> a few more things to do with the pile so I've tried on everything and I've tried to establish what I actually need and want after trying it all on I had to uh get changed into my pajamas it was just a lot of uh on and off tights on and off no tights what shoes but I have a couple of evening events where I'm gonna want to be a little bit more dressy and I don't want to pack heels or heeled boots so I've got some flats and that works and there's like three or four outfits that'll be perfect for the evenings and yes obviously I can like repeat outfits I'm not that fussed about things but I want to wear something different on those evening nights there's a gala night where we're having like a a really nice dinner so I really need to think about something a little bit nicer for the gala night then I have a couple of dresses that work good with tights or no tights and then I have a couple of midi skirts that look good with a t-shirt that I can wear bare legged 
or I've got one pair of shorts just in case it is really warm. Honestly, guys, I'm really struggling with like what I actually want. I've got a pair of jeans. I have a pair of shorts. <laughs> I have jeans and shorts. I, I just don't even know. I think I'm going to lay out all the outfits and see where I'm at and split it into daytime, evening. Ones I'll wear with trainers when we go to like a vineyard or if I go on a like long walk. That kind of thing. It doesn't look an awful lot of stuff but I think I'm happy with the selection I have right now. Okay so I basically bought myself an Apple AirTag and I have travelled for... 27 years and never had issues before but i've been thinking about this for a while and i just thought i would have an air tag that i can use when i travel it knows already connect name of tag i'm gonna call this luggage i'm back to trying on outfits because i wasn't so happy with my gala dinner evening outfit so i've dug out this dress which has served me so well it's a lipsy one from next that i've had forever it's quite pretty evening mediterranean with tights i think will look really cute and even if i choose not to wear tights let's say it's warm um then i can wear like some nice flip-flops with it or something i actually think it looks better with tights and also try on your outfits with like the bag and the jacket you're gonna wear too let me show you so yeah i've just popped on a little plain black bag that i bought from a company called fablu i have two of these i'll have one in gray as well and it's of like a, a weird material actually but it's perfect it's just like a little plain black bag and then the jacket is primark and it goes with basically every outfit so that's what i want to wear i've got my travel outfit hung up i have dug out a comfortable bra my favorite lululemon leggings and then this striped tee from same Sainsbury's with my white trainers and then I'm going to take my North Face jacket because this is lightweight and good if it's windy but also obviously it's perfect raincoat. Here's where we're at um, clothes wise so I think we definitely can do with taking a few options out because I have three evening dresses, three daytime dresses, two midi skirts, jeans, shorts and two jumpsuits and then obviously a mixture of thin jumpers and t-shirts so I think we can eliminate at least one or two items from here. It's just deciding what um, we get rid of. It's Friday. Yesterday I didn't get an awful lot of packing done. I did do a couple more bits and started to organise it a little bit more. So it's starting to come together now. I also got my nails done yesterday. So I had them painted this really lovely like baby pink. So it matches everything. And then I also washed my brushes because there's nothing quite like fresh freshly washed makeup brushes um so i'm not going to need all of them but whilst i was doing you know the ones i want for my trip i washed them all so that's my brushes and i think i'm going to pack my makeup today and also going to pack my hair stuff so i've got my uh north face rain jacket because the weather does look like it's going to rain so i've got that rolled up i'm going to actually pack it and i have my primark jacket and then i've just got a bunch of tights i need to sort out here that looks really excessive. I probably need to cut down on that. But <laughs> then my tights. And then I also dug out my North Face other jacket that I have. This one's like padded and it's warm. It's quite nice to travel in actually rather than the raincoat. So I'm going to take both. So I have that one that I wear traveling and then that one that I will pack. And then I've sorted out my pants. I've got some bras. I've got sports bras, pajamas. One swimming costume from M&S, just because I don't think I'm going to be doing any swimming or much swimming at all. And if I do, I only need one. Um, and then I've got my hair stuff I'm going to sort out in a second. Couple of bits and bobs here. I'm just deciding between my towels as well, because I've got these ones, which are like softer and a little bit nicer. Or I have these Dock and Bay ones, which are like microfiber. I just can't find the big towel right now, but it does go in this little pouch and it's quite small and compact. So I'm just trying to make my mind up on what I want. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I would pop all my hair stuff into this little bag. So I own a Dyson Air Wrap and I love it. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair, obviously before, or Sunday night before I fly, but I'll do that with my old hair dryer. So I'm gonna pack this up now. So it's all done and I haven't forgotten anything. And I bought this little travel case from Amazon. So I just thought you might want to see how it all fits together. So obviously these little um, shorter barrels, they fit really nicely like that. But the longer barrels, they, they stand up too high. So I have to pop them in 
like so. I'm gonna put my beauty products in here. We've got hairspray and heat defense, and I also have this little curl jelly pouch, just in case I want my hair naturally curly. I thought that could come in handy. It's so thin and small. And then put the actual hair dryer that I've rolled up in there and take my old pair of hair straighteners that do still work and the reason i'm not taking my new ones is just because you know when you travel you just never know how things travel then i've got my blow dry hairbrush and my um detangler brush from tangle teaser i worked with them recently but i've had these brushes forever love them so that fits nicely in there and then i'm also going to pop in a little comb and i've got a couple of like hair bits here we've got clear little hair bands in here and then I just I thought I'd just grab a bunch of hair stuff, you know, bobby pins, hair bands. These clips are for when I'm sort of doing my hair and this is for blow drying my hair. I've just remembered that I want to pack this, which is a bit bulky. I'm going to empty it because it's just got water in it. But it's what I use to spray the bottom of my hair when I do my curls. So I'm going to do my makeup next and I'm using this very handy little makeup bag that was gifted to me a while ago from a company called Lily England and I like this because it's got a smaller section on one side for makeup brushes so I've got the ones that I need in there that I've just cleaned and then this section here is a little bit deeper so my foundation and powder from number seven a mini mac fix plus collection lasting perfection benefit precisely my brow um then i've got a choice of either glossier boy brow or i have a mini gimme brow which i actually quite fancy using this so i'm gonna pop this in here because it's so cute i love benefit eyebrow products and then yeah i'm just gonna go through and pop everything i need in and hopefully again a little bit of tetris we're just going to try and keep it quite flat. So I've got a Charlotte Tilbury eye palette there. This was again gifted to me. This is called Exaggerize and I love this so much. It's the perfect little palette. Look at those colours. I really like this highlighter so maybe we'll take that. And then bronzer. Do I even need a bronzer? Maybe we'll take a little hula. I've got a little tiny one here. It's my primer. Oh, I don't want to forget that. Professional. See, look, it's fitting in there all nicely. Mascara's next. I have so many mascaras right now, guys, because L'Oreal sent me loads. And I've been quite enjoying Telescopic and Benefit They're Real. And I'm also going to go to Sephora as well um, and get some makeup while I'm in there too. Also just popped in MAC Velvet Teddy, like a little mini version. And then my favourite lip gloss, which is the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade Honeymoon. I have two or three of these because I love them so much. All right, I'm going back to this plug situation because this one is great for travel. But sometimes if it's on a counter, I can't always fit it. Um, if it's like on the wall somewhere, it's fine. But I've just found a slightly better one that's got a bit of a longer lead. Um, and I think this might be better for me. So I've done that. Right, it is now Saturday, two days before we go. I have done my passenger locator form this morning and it's starting to feel very real. And I've laid out absolutely everything now. So I really was quite harsh on myself and was like, do we actually need this? I've double checked the weather and I've taken out a pair of shorts and swapped for an extra pair of jeans instead. I really think I'm gonna be living in like jeans and tee or jeans and a light jumper with a jacket. Or if it is a little bit warmer, I've got midi skirts and midi dresses. I actually took out one midi skirt because we just don't need two. So I have done that process of elimination and this is what I ended up eliminating. So quite a pile really. An extra bag, a belt, a skirt, you know, all that. I even took out my little portable tripod because I just think, I don't think I'll fully use it. Um, a couple of pairs of tights that were extra in there. Things like that that I just don't need. So I'm going to show you everything now brief overview and then we're gonna pack it i haven't shown you my shoes yet either so we'll do that so i'll pack my hand luggage um in a minute but this is hand luggage stuff coming down here then i've got tea and a couple of uh, cereal bars just like snack bars i can shove in my bag some games that i have um just thrown in i thought they could be fun to take with me maybe i haven't quite decided i might just take a pack of cards or whatever wash bag hair stuff makeup my first aid kit i've actually decanted again because i don't need bug spray and bite cream and things like that but i do need some specific things so i've made that a bit smaller 
These are my shoes I'm taking. I'm obviously wearing a pair of white trainers. These are the very best flip-flops ever. I absolutely love them. I couldn't decide which color I wanted, but I thought these ones went quite nicely with that midi skirt. So I went for the pink, <laughs> but I do have them in black and gold as well. And then I have these gold flip-flops that I thought could be nice for the evenings if I'm not wearing tights. These shoes for when I am wearing tights and then trainers, obviously. All of my underwear, socks, tights, pants, bras, um, shorts that I wear to help with any um, chafing. <laughs> so I've got two pairs of those, one swimming costume, a towel and one for my hair. I have two pajamas because this is a nighty and these are um, shorts and a top. I have an underwear bag and a bikini bag. These are so handy for putting dirty laundry or wet cozy in. Bags, I have one side evening bag I've decided on. I think that black one just goes with everything, so it's perfect. This is a big daytime rucksack, and this is a smaller rucksack. They fold down so small. I'll show you all my outfits and how things come together when I'm actually out there so you can watch the vlogs. And then I have two coats, which, again, I wouldn't normally do. Obviously, I'm wearing one too, but I do think I'm going to need these. So we have a raincoat and this nice light Primark jacket that's good for the evenings. And then when it comes to clothes, I have got three daytime dresses this one came in the post yesterday from river island that i ordered online i love it so i want to take that with me three evening dresses so i can obviously alternate and re-wear and then my gala dinner dress two thin jumpers two pairs of jeans got rid of the shorts and then four t-shirts two plain ish ones and two stripy ones um this one's long sleeve this is three quarter sleeves they are the clothes so I've already like decided what I would wear what with, um, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh, and I have one play suit too. I'm actually wearing the other one that I was gonna pack, but I have one which I think might be quite good for uh, traveling home in, um, but if it is really cold, then obviously I've got my Lululemon leggings. I've got a mask just to go through the airport, but I do have um, the uh, medical mask as well, so don't worry. Uh, and then I have a nice comfortable bra from Hollister, I think this was, and then this long top as well, which obviously I can rewear. So that is absolutely everything I'm packing. So I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Now I did do a practice like pack yesterday and I couldn't fit it all in that original suitcase, that black one. So I went into the loft and I got out a bigger one. I'm kind of tempted to see if I can fit it back in that black case. I don't know, we'll see, but we're gonna pack now, which is very exciting. <laughs> gonna put the clothes in packing cubes. I've talked about packing cubes so many times, but you can get them in a variety of sizes, shapes. You can get compression ones that make things even smaller. Um, you can get them from TK Maxx or on Amazon. Uh, loads of places sell them. I'm gonna start with this one that I actually got from Ikea. They don't sell these anymore, but it's one of my favorite ones because it's double-sided. So we're gonna see how much we can actually fit. With packing cubes, there are two methods, either having everything very flat or rolling things and having them in like sections rolled up. I've tried both, it really is dependent on the clothes. So if I'm going on a summer holiday where I've got lots of light dresses, thin, thinner materials, it's a little bit easier to do the rolling method. But for this trip, I'm gonna have everything flat. So I've specifically folded everything in a way that it keeps it flat. So we're gonna go straight in with my t-shirts first. Now you can sometimes sort of, you know, shimmy things up. It is a bit like Tetris, as we know. So there's space like down the side there. So in that scenario, maybe it might be worth like rolling something and then having it like that. So you do have to just sort of mold things to the shape of the cube itself, if that makes sense. All right, that's our tops and jumpers. Then we're gonna go in this side and pop the jeans. So jeans, again, I wanted quite flat and I'm gonna put my midi skirt in. I probably only need one pair of jeans. Like the reality is I can probably live in just one pair for the whole week. So we may have to just abandon one pair. Second cube is gonna be this slightly bigger one. We're gonna fit all the dresses in here, hopefully is the plan. So keeping it fairly flat, daytime and evening dresses side by side my gala dress on the top. All right, that's our second packing cube. It's quite good because it's quite flat. This was one from Amazon, actually. I can leave this linked. This is by a brand called Gonnex, and they're a compression packing cube. So um, you want to get it open first, like the biggest width it will go, like this. And then you'll see I'll be able to squish quite a lot in here and then condense it down. All right, underwear, dresses, 
tops and bottoms. So we're all in now, packing cubes, that's everything. This little bag, we wanna keep everything neat. I can go inside there. I've got a hairband I wanted to pack. I've got some games. I think I'll just take a pack of cards. Um, I've got some tea bags. <laughs> it's so random, but it's just getting everything neat, you know? My towel, I have a little hair towel. I couldn't find the matching. I've got matching, which is a shame, um, but I couldn't find it. So I did find the pink version. Now I've got a few of these towels. I have a load of spare face masks as well. So that's a bit miscellaneous. And I'm also taking a lateral flow kit so that I can test regularly. Found another little bag. I have so many makeup bags. So <laughs> this was actually a Temple Spa gift set, I think came in here. So laptop charger. I've got a hard drive so I can back up my footage. Spare G7X Mark II camera because this is my job to film things and you never know. I say it every packing video, I always take a spare. Um, then we've got the charger for my camera, um, European plug, Apple plug and spare lead. That's not very neat, is it? I normally try and use little cable ties. This is what a gear tie looks like. Oh, I got these on Amazon. I've tried a variety of different things. These ones are great because they keep the leads nice like that. Portable phone charger, lead, and a spare pair of sunglasses. And I think that'll be everything for my gadgets. Hand luggage, I've put you up high so that you can see how I'm actually packing and putting things in this bag. This was very kindly gifted to me from Cabin Max, my lovely friend Monica at The Travel Hack. She has created a line of luggage and some of you, if you're loyal and you've seen before, will know I actually used the mini suitcase on my last trip to Parma. I also love the rucksack. And this is now the tote bag that fits under your seat. It can be used as hand luggage on most major airlines. It's only about 30 six pound right now like 40 pound max um so i'll leave a link to this below because it's such a good bag it's got loads of pockets on the front it's got the um suitcase sleeve so i can use it very easily through the airport little pocket there and then inside it's got a laptop compartment on the back and then it's got two little pockets there it's got a water bottle holder. On the other side is another zip that goes all the way down, which you can use for hair straighteners. I've got a um, anti-back hanging off the side there. Um, and then you've got two big mesh zip pockets there as well. So super handy and I'm just so happy. So first thing that's going in is my laptop, which I'm using a brand called 195. I bought loads of their products. You would have seen already the wash bag, but this is the laptop sleeve. So popping that straight in. Then we're going to put my empty water bottle in the water bottle holder section. I'll obviously try and fill it up as soon as I go through security. If not, it's going to be my water bottle for the week. It's just from Amazon, actually. I'll leave it linked because it's a really nice big size. I've got my documents, which is very important. So we'll put that in the little mesh zip that I can get to easily. In fact, actually, no, we won't. We won't put it in the zip. We'll put it in front of the laptop. My purse can go in the mesh zip. I've got some wine gums for the plane. They can go in the little zip. Then I've got my glasses, um, just because obviously I wear contact lenses and if I find they're irritating me or they dry out on the flight, then I've got my glasses, always take them with me. iPad, which I'm gonna slot down this side here. It fits in the sleeve like that. On this side, I'm popping in a little tote bag because when I get there, I'm gonna be checking in earlier than they will have my apartment ready for me. So I wanna be able to dump everything and then just use this bag to chuck my purse and camera and stuff in. And it's also quite good for when I do any food shopping and that kind of thing. Always take a tote bag on any trips. It doubles up as well as like if I go to the pool or beach bag or whatever. Then we have my Nintendo Switch. I'm taking my new new OLED model. I always thought I'd take my Switch Lite when I travel, but I've just recently bought the Happy Home Paradise expansion on Animal Crossing and I want to play. So I have that. So that can go, let's put that down in the sleeve as well in front of the laptop. I also have the remote control, which is maybe a bit silly, but <laughs> I really like playing with this and having it as tabletop mode, especially on a flight. I think that'd be really handy. So we'll just pop that in the bottom as well. I've got a memory foam pillow, which I got as a freebie when I tested out a Tempure mattress once. It was ages ago. Um, 
I'm obviously not going on a long haul flight and probably not going to do any sleeping. It's a really short flight. But I have been struggling with pillows when I travel at the moment. I'm finding I am getting really thin, very flat pillows or really thick, too thick pillows. So um, I'm taking my own just because having a good night's sleep is very important to me. And it doesn't weigh a lot. It's just a little bit bulky to pack, but that's fine. It will fit sideways down the here and also i have a bit of a bad back so it will be quite nice on the on the flight if i'm finding my back is aching i can pop it behind me then we have my toiletries in this tiny little pixie case obviously they may ask me to take everything out and put it in a ziploc which is absolutely fine um but in here i have a lip balm chewing gum perfume eczema cream a little mini deodorant from wild so cute it's like a little stick um i've got some hair clips and hair bands stuff my hair hand cream little hairbrush little mini tangle tees that i bought on amazon um what else have we got in here plasters medication literally anything i could need just for travels i actually use this little bag in my handbag every day anyway so that can go on the top we have this little pouch so 195 again this has got all my gadgets um and a pen because you never know when you need to fill in any form especially nowadays portable phone charger my apple airpods like i said sunglasses leads and headphones to play with my nintendo switch and then we have this little pouch which i have used for anti-back and a ton of face masks so i've got a mixture of cloth and medical masks and i also have some cheeky panda biodegradable wipes so i can wipe down my seat or tray that is everything i think yeah for my hand luggage so absolutely perfect so i do obviously pack quite a lot it's not too heavy and everything is organized so it's literally the dream i'm so chuffed with this and it's got a long handle um so yeah when i'm walking through the airport i can stick it on my side or it actually fits on my arm like so you know so anyway that's my hand luggage i don't think we're gonna fit everything in this suitcase but i'm gonna try I think there's maybe slightly between this and the next one because the next suitcase I've got is is big. I mean, I think that's pretty good, but it is quite heavy. I'm aware that I managed to fit it all in, but I would like to try and put it in the bigger case. coming out at 23.9 almost 24 um so it is a case of either having to take out one or two things or hope for the best that no one is going to stop me so looking back at my list the only things i haven't packed yet are my teddy bear <laughs> that comes with me you're going hand luggage perfume that i would like to take with me um and i was going to pack an umbrella but other than that, on my Fitbit charger, and that's it. That is everything. So I feel pretty content with it. Like, I'm happy with everything I've got. I've got loads of choices and options. I could wear my raincoat or that black jacket to travel in. Like, do I need three coats? Probably not. Do I need two jeans? Probably not. Um, so I think I still have one more day until I actually need to fully decide. But you get the gist. That's basically everything I want to take with me. I feel like I have something for every scenario. <laughs> but hey, that's me. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm so excited to be going away. So please do click subscribe so you don't miss my travel vlogs. And let me know in the comments below if there are any tips that you love for packing or when your next trip is and if this video has helped at all because I'd like to hope so but anyway have a lovely rest of your day thanks for watching see you again very soon bye